In this video I'm going to show you how you can easily download and install WhatsApp on an iPhone or iPad. Be sure to watch the video to the very end so you don't make any mistakes. Let's get started guys. I'm gonna show you all the process from the beginning and first off we need to head over to the App Store. On the App Store tap right here at search and then enter WH and it will already show you uh, what's up at the very top. So just uh, tap on it. Then search for WhatsApp Messenger in that list. It will be at the very first or at the second position because of ads here at the very top. Then get into it and then tap add get or maybe in your case this button says install. Just tap on it. Then confirm the installation by double click on the power button. Also, uh, Face ID is required to install applications. So once all these steps has passed, we just need to wait for the download to complete. Once it is done and this button says open, we can just tap on it to open up WhatsApp application. However, we can also find the app icon on our home screen. So uh, now we can long press on it and first off we can place it in uh, any position where we would like this uh, icon to be located and then we can tap at app icon to open up the WhatsApp. On that step select VLAN and cellular then agree and continue. On that step, WhatsApp asks if you would like to send us notifications. I'm going to tap at allow. On that step, we need to enter our phone number here. Towards the top, we can select our country. If we tap at a country, we'll be able to switch it. I'm going to search for Russia. And after that, we need to enter our phone number and hit add next. On the next step it will allow us to restore our chat history. All we have to do is just tap add restore chat history here and then we just need to wait for, a some, for, for some time. As you can see now chat history is being restored and uh, it can take some time depends of how much uh, chat history you got in the uh, WhatsApp backup. And after a couple of seconds we can then tap at next to head over to the next step where we need to enter our name here in that field. Also we can hit at edit and change our profile picture. I'm gonna tap at choose photo and that will open up my camera roll. From here I would like to use that photo as my profile picture. That's how we can easily crop it. And then to continue just tap at done. On that step it says that WhatsApp would like to access our contacts. I'm gonna tap at allow and basically guys that's it. So as you can see now uh, most of my conversations are restored and now it is restoring media so we can use WhatsApp application. We can have a conversation with some user. We can send messages and after some time it will restore all the media from our conversations. That's how you can easily download and install WhatsApp on an iPhone or iPad. If this video was helpful for you, don't forget to hit the like button.